Look, is this skateboarding? What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. Last week I was sick. I appreciate all the good vibes and thoughts and prayers. For those of you praying for me, today I'm feeling 100% better and we are reviewing two videos. Both of them are pretty short, so let's go ahead and rewind and start with this video called Criminal Mischief Play. Starting off, crooked grind across. I always say start off with a bang. Front tail. Okay, we got the lines, we got the ledges, we got the beautiful bright blue park. According to the internet, According to the internet, this would not be a slappy because the wheels went up, but that's just the internet, whatever. Grinding across and down, I call it a slappy. A little bit blurry here. The weird zooming in is kind of annoying. Double lip slide, love to see it. Ollie up. Push twice. A lot of roll up for a flat ground kickflip that we could barely see because of the super jerky zoom out. That, that does not belong in this video at all. Back grind across, over the A-frame. All these into the back tail, really well done. Lip slide shove, landing bolts. No heels, no toes, we love to see it. Got the back three, rolling up fakey. I like the framing here. Good, see, no weird zooming in, zooming out. Tail slide down, landed that one with some steez. Perfect grind. Speeding it up so he's not wasting my time. We got the ledges, we got the rails. 501.80. Did we get any, what, manuals? We got some pole jams, we got some street. Nice kickflip, good form on the kickflip. Switch board slide, we got some switch. Maybe we'll get some nollie. We got the Smith, we got the transition. I like how much he's mixing it up. And the filming here, not too bad at all. Get the cab across the uh, little wedge there, big spin. Some speed here on the Smith grind. I don't know how much I like just the single, like, all into a Smith grind. I feel like if you can do the trick that easily, you might as well step it up. Another kick flip. Not really big on the flip tricks here. Uh, we've gotten pretty much only, what, a kick flip and a... Fakey backside flip. Oh, and then we get a backside flip, of course. Okay, proving me wrong. Board slide to fakey. Not too much roll up, not too much roll away on most of these tricks. Really liked that combo. That's my favorite thing thus far. The shove out of the board slide. Really tough to do it like that. Oh, that was... Let's rewind that. Sort of a wally into a... I don't know. He kind of rides down that steep. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, but... Still a cool trick. Freddie Mercury got the kickflip back tail. <laughs> no slide, big spin. And the final trick is a blunt slide, but it goes into tail slide. And he holds onto it with perfect control. Wow, perfect trick for an ender. This video was 2 minutes and 22 seconds. It flew by. Why? Because I was entertained the whole time. I was wondering what was coming next. The skill level wasn't professional right he's not the best guy we've ever reviewed but i have zero complaints well i can't say zero complaints there was one clip where he pushed to ice and rolled up some non-steep bank just to do a kick flip which was already a repeated trick that was the lamest part of the video overall quality was fine trick selection was fine i feel like he probably could have mixed it up a little bit more maybe a couple more flip tricks some more nollie stuff maybe some manuals but overall I'm going to go ahead and give this one a uh, 8.5 out of 10. That line with the kickflip was, it was that bad. <laughs> I usually wouldn't subtract one and a half points for just one terrible line, but it was terrible. And I'm sure there was a couple of other small complaints. But yeah, really, really enjoyable, super watchable. No big complaints, right? Only small complaints. And if you uh, think I'm wrong, go ahead and let me know in a comment below. Am I being... Maybe I'm being too nice. Maybe I'm being too mean. Listen, I go through phases. If I'm in a bad mood, sometimes I'm extra, like, critical. Today, 
Maybe I'm in a good mood? You tell me. A link to this video and this video will be in the description below. So if you want to watch them on your own time with music, feel free to do that. Rewind. This one's called Nathan Abonto Camera Roll Skate Clips Play. Starting off, uh, probably fakey big heel. Backside heel flip. The zooming in is really annoying. His 50-50 appears to be switch. Way too zoomed in. Uh, and this one's really zoomed out. Like, that looks fine. I can see his arm stees. I thought they might have been hiding the arm stees by zooming in so much. But I think the filmer is just autistic. Or maybe he's getting bored. <laughs> he starts to get creative. Like, if this guy doesn't land the trick first try, he's like, well, maybe I'll zoom in and zoom out so that I'm having more fun. Okay, so these shove stalls right here. Listen. The first one, beautiful, right? It's beautiful because... Little bit of heel touch, but not so bad at all because you can see the heel is off the coping and most of the weight of the foot is on the toe. Now, watch the next one. You'll see a completely different scenario. Complete foot on the ground and all the weight is now on the heel. So that's a big no-no. You really should know better, right? Especially if we're going to spend all this time zooming all the way in, your mistakes are going to look that much more obvious. All right, let's continue. Front board down the rail, nicely done. That one kind of looked switch as well. But speaking of that, he is skating switch. Board slide coming out both ways. Very old heel flip back 180, like that. 50-50, again, rails are not his strong thing, right? The 50-50 there looked really uncomfortable <laughs> compared to the other one. Nolly 360, nice, in a line. Okay, the weird zooming action. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me pause. Let me pause this line and show you guys why this is terrible, if you didn't know already. Look, is this skateboarding, right? This is what happens when you get way too comfortable trying to be creative, right? I want the tricks to stand out. I don't need the filmer to prove to me that he can do this with his finger. It's not necessary. I watch this for the skating. And the skating right now, I feel like being held back by this ridiculous zooming. Also, are we gonna call that a nollie or are we gonna call that a nose manual? Because if we slow this down, there's no contact at all. <laughs> it's kind of surprising he even got down the stairs. Maybe we should do that for one of these Fridays where instead of I learn a trick, I have a three stair by my house. I should see how much tricks we can do down the three stair without popping the nose or the tail. Yeah, that's uh, that sounds like a disaster of a video. No slide down, shove it with the chick in the way. Front shove, hauling ass right there. Very heel flip, but again, the zooming makes that whole thing just look awkward, right? If we pause right here, like the skateboarder is no longer in the shot at all. So this filmer is, listen, we can judge the skateboarding all we want, but what I try to do here is judge the watchability of the video and try and make it as entertaining as possible. This is, this is taking away from the skater. If this was a sponsor tape, let's say that you didn't get sponsored, I feel like part of the blame could be placed on the filmer just because I don't know what's going on. Molly back, lip. Mixing it up. Okay, we got the manual combo, and that's it. Overall, uh, I don't know how I feel about this, right? Because right now I'm kind of thinking, what could we do to improve the skater first i think the tricks were pretty good right the tricks were nice mixed it up wonderfully we got some rails we got some stairs we got some flip tricks we got the the park tricks over the hip we got a manual at the end we got ledges but what took away from all that is having to watch a video like this and listen, I spent the whole video complaining about it. I want to know your guys' thoughts, right? Because sometimes I get this feeling. If I just say, hey, the zooming in and zooming out made your video terrible. They're just going to say, well, you don't understand. That's just your opinion. So I would love the chat room to chime in. Is it just my opinion or was that video hard to fucking watch? Not because of the skill, not because of the tricks, but only because of the filming. In fact, if we're going to go by the 1 to 10 scale... We gave this video 8.5. I don't think we can give this video a higher score. I think it has to go down. I'm going to go down to a 7. 7 out of 10, which is rare. 
it's rare that the filmer takes away from the video that much. But also, we've had this before in the past where the editor takes away from it by adding, I don't know, trees wiggling and a water and a time lapse of the sun going by that we've seen a thousand times, leaves and shit, trees, all these things we've seen a thousand times, super uncreative. Here, you're not really standing out when you're just trying to make the viewer dizzy. But then again, that's just my opinion. Let me know in a comment below. Quality on both videos for the most part was okay. And I, I don't know, did I enjoy them? I enjoyed this one more, whatever. Moving on, would you like me to review your footage? I can make fun of your clothing, we can laugh at your Tic Tacs, or maybe you can surprise me with a good skate video. That'd be wonderful. Submitting your video to me is very easy. Just follow these steps. Find me on Facebook, type in Ninja Lifestyle, or find me on Instagram. Send me a DM or a message, and in that DM, have a link to a YouTube video that's HD, widescreen like these, 16 by nine aspect ratio. I just say that because I get these vertical, oh my God, the vertical videos I get every week, they're just, they're terrible, man. I know Instagram's all vertical now. I know Snapchat, whatever, but this is still YouTube. I want it the way that I want it. I make the rules, goddammit. Anyways, write down in your message or DM, this is for Ninja Review. Make sure you have the link. I check those DMs every Monday, and I'm looking forward to getting more submissions from you because right now I have zero in my queue. These two videos were the last ones. If we don't get enough submissions by next week, what are we going to do? Old school review, which I don't mind doing those videos at all. We review skateboarding videos from the past that inspired me. So tune in next week. We upload, what, three, four, five videos every single week on this channel. So make sure to, oh, oh, there it goes. There's that thing going by. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arms.